Real quick before this video starts, I just want to say thank you guys for 400 subs. Road to 500, you know what I'm saying? The fish fisher that I put in last video was a tiger fish. Giacoma Paliza got that correct. Uh, I hope I pronounced your name right. Anyways, with that being said, here's the video. So a lot of you guys really wanted to see a, uh, a turtle video. I haven't really shown my turtles in a while. I said in the pool pond video that uh, if I if you guys wanted me to show more of my turtles, to comment down below. And let's just say that you guys definitely wanted to see more of my turtles. So that's basically what we're going to go do today. We're basically going to go feed the turtles since I haven't done that in a while on my channel. Uh, normally, I would feed them tilapia. Right now, I'm actually switching it up. I'm feeding them shrimp right now. So... It's a little bit different, you know, switch it up, don't always feed them, feed them the same thing. Normally about five shrimp is perfect, like my turtles can eat a lot. So I just go in and then just start slicing it, just like that, in little, little chunks. So there is our, our shrimp cut up right there. We're going to go and feed a uh, majority of this to all of our turtles. I basically start right here in the cooler with the biggest turtles. We have four turtles in here. Now, the three biggest turtles are actually going to be moved out of here pretty soon. Over there. Show them over there to the koi pond. We're going to be moving them over there pretty soon. If you don't know, I'm in the midst of, you know, rebuilding my other big pond. Once I uh, get the pond rebuilt, I'm going to be taking the two koi out of the goldfish pond over there into the koi pond since that's only 120 gallons and that will be close to 700. And then once I do that, I will be taking the three biggest turtles out of the cooler and put them into the goldfish pond so they will have more room. Now the only one that's not going to be moving out of here is that guy right there. He's the smallest one. I'm going to grow him out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, just watch these guys. Just look at them. They just go crazy. Oh, yes, I've been bitten a lot of times by these guys, but it doesn't really hurt that bad. And once they figure out that uh, you're not food, they do let go. Believe me, they do not have snapping turtle draw strength. Here comes the biggest guy coming out. Now, this guy actually has a chip shell. I, I got him when I got this guy. He was like that. Now, after I go ahead and hand feed, you know, my turtles for a few minutes, then what I'll do, I'll take a few chunks just like that, and I'll just go ahead and put them in there. And they'll go and pick them all up off the bottom. So in this tank right here, I have two smaller yellow bellies. Now once, like I said, once I move the three biggest turtles out of there into the goldfish pond, the two turtles in here are going to be moving into there with the smallest turtles in there. So then we'll have three turtles in here, and we'll have three turtles in here. We're just going to go look at the other ones in here in just a second. Now there's two yellow bellies in here, but there's also a really, really small baby musk turtle in here. So this is the baby musk turtle right here. He's a nocturnal turtle, so meaning, you know, he comes out at night to feed and stuff like that. He, he normally does not eat during the daytime unless it's like a really, really warm day. Like I said, normally he's hiding, you know, his little tree cave in here, which is where I found him. I mean, he's actually burrowed in here, so I'm going to go ahead and set him right back into his little tree cave right here. Sometimes these guys will hand feed. Now that I got my hands all in the tank and stuff like that, they're probably not going to really want to. Got it. Anyways, there's the other guy right there, and there's a piece right there, and also another piece right there that he will get in just a few minutes. Now, I would go and feed these guys. These are my three smallest turtles, but they're actually sleeping right now. That guy's not. He's just floating around right now. But that guy is asleep, and also that guy right there is asleep. So I'll drop one piece in here for him, but the other guys are not going to eat right now. Got it. Just like that, and he'll go and chop away at that. Now, this is going to be my soft shell turtle tank. I'm not. I'm gonna wait till the springtime to get any soft shells for it. But in here, we have a baby bullhead catfish, several mollies and platies, which I'm gonna be getting more of, and also a pretty dang big. That's the best shot I can get of him. A uh, pretty dang big wild caught crawfish that we caught last weekend. So I'll take one piece right here. Now this guy is not gonna eat. I literally will drop a piece of shrimp right in front of him. And he'll come back out like later in the day or at night to get it. He'll wait that long to get it. Drop it right there and he will come out and get it later on the day or at night. Since this guy is wild caught and he's still adjusting to the tank, he doesn't ever like actually come out and get the shrimp when I'm watching. So I'll just put it right there, right in front of him and he'll come out and get it later on today. Now as for the mollies and platies, I typically would just feed these guys flakes. Also, we're going to be setting up the pool pond very soon as well, so be looking out for that. So after I feed these guys a little bit, then I go feed the other guys. I then come back and feed the rest of it. To these guys right here because they can literally just continuously eat but you never want to overfeed them got it got it got it oh yeah you got like two or three that time boom boom got it now this is the smallest guy like i said he's going to be the one that's going to be staying here for a little bit longer and then we'll just drop the rest right on the bottom for them to get 
a quick update on the crabs that we got in the last video. As for the crabs, here's two hermit crabs right here. And there's also the emerald crab, which is burled up under the rock right there. It's really like the best shot I can get of him is his legs right there. And there's one of the other hermit crabs right there. And like I said, we're going to be getting some more hermit crabs for this uh, pretty soon as well. That is pretty much uh, how I feed my turtles every day. I don't always feed them shrimp. I always, you know, try to switch it up out through the week and stuff like that. Whether it be shrimp, tilapia, krill, all types of stuff. Anyways, that's pretty much it for now. Just kind of a short turtle feeding video. You know, like you guys really wanted to see that. I'll be showing more of my turtles as well. Be looking out for the pool pond very soon. We're going to be setting it up very soon. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.